The electromagnetic spectrum, or EMS for short, is the full range of what light could be based on a combination of specific variables. Electromagnetic radiation, or more simply light, travels at a constant rate of 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. In other words, this is the speed of light, and it's always the same in a vacuum. If electromagnetic spectrum is light going at a constant speed, then what the heck is all this variability down here? So what's directly being visualized in this EMS diagram is the wavelength, the horizontal size of the wave. It's really big for radio waves, and it's really small for gamma radiation. But what does this have to do with the fact that the speed of light is constant? Well, our constant speed c is equal to lambda f, where lambda is wavelength and f is frequency. These variables are related to each other in such a way that when one term increases, the other term decreases and vice versa. And this inverse relationship between lambda and f comes about because our light speed term is a constant. It's always the same thing. So back to our electromagnetic spectrum, we can clearly see that whenever the wavelength is big, frequency is small. And whenever frequency is big, wavelength is small. More holistically, wavelength increases right to left, frequency increases left to right. To ensure we understand how this works, let me ask you, what travels faster, radio waves or gamma waves? So comparing these two terms, radio waves has a larger wavelength, but gamma radiation has a greater frequency. However, this is a trick question because they are the same speed. No matter the wavelength, frequency being big, small, medium, it will always travel, light will always travel at the same 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in a vacuum. And when I say in a vacuum, it just means in thin air. There's nothing impeding the air. C stays the same no matter what category of light, radio, visible, etc. that we're on. Let's make sure we understand the wavelength ranges that bound each type of wave. Here are the wavelength ranges for radio, micro, and infrared waves. It's also worth noting that because most of the wavelengths we deal with are so darn small, we use units of nanometers, and a nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 of a meter. Smack dab in the middle of the spectrum, i.e. medium frequency and medium wavelength, we've got visible light. And it's worth memorizing that the upper and lower limits of wavelength are dark red, being 750 nanometers, right at the cusp of infrared, violet, being 400 nanometers right at the cusp of ultraviolet. Speaking of which, here are the wavelength ranges for the three smallest categories of light by wavelength, gamma rays being the absolute smallest. So did you learn the following? One, electromagnetic spectrum, or EMS for short, is a model for light showing the range of possible wavelengths and frequencies. It's compartmentalized into categories such as microwaves and x-rays. The light we're talking about has a constant speed. It's the exact same thing every time. So the fact that it's equal to the product of f and lambda means that when one of these two terms increases, the other decreases, and vice versa. Different categories of light have different ranges of wavelength and frequency respectively, and visible light is the one that's smack dab in the middle that we really want to pay attention to and even memorize.